good people it's qc i greatly appreciate y'all checking out the youtube page and watching the videos subscribe to the channel when you do please click on the bell icon so you won't miss any new videos from me i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers the 1000 subscriber will win a 300 dollars southwest airline gift card hey what's up good people i'm qc welcome to a brand new edition of talking and grubbing i had meant to do this video earlier this week but i kind of got busy anyways gd taft the moderator for skip and shannon undisputed on fox sports one earlier this week said former kansas city chiefs running back kareem hunt deserves a lifetime ban from the nfl while they were discussing his release as well as the tape that was leaked by TMZ of him getting into an altercation with a young woman at a downtown Cleveland hotel back in February. Here's the clip and I'll be back with the rest of my tape. The Chiefs released Kareem Hunt on Friday after video was released by TMZ which showed him pushing and kicking a woman back in February. The Chiefs said Hunt lied to them when they asked about the details of the incident and Hunt admitted to that and yesterday he tried to explain his actions. Let's hear it. Honestly, it just, it, it was just a, a long night. And to be exact, it don't really matter what happened. I was in the wrong. I could have, you know, took responsibility and, you know, made the right decision to, you know, find a way to de-escalate the whole situation. It was definitely some things that were said and did that I did not like. And that's not an excuse. It's not... I, I'm, that person in that video did not deserve that. I didn't mean to hurt anybody or any, anything like that. It, it's really tough. All right, Shannon, what is your reaction? Skip, I watched this young man speak yesterday, and I don't normally watch other shows, and I definitely don't watch anything with the sound because I don't want anybody to uh, contaminate my thoughts or speak behind someone else. But I wanted to hear what he had to say. And uh, for me, I think he's, I, I think he showed uh, uh, quite a bit of contrition. Yeah. He admitted he lied to the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. What he did was delay the inevitable because he had known, he knew, had he told the truth that I put my hands on this woman, mm -hmm. the Chiefs would have released him in February. Yeah. He did not know there was a tape. He didn't. Uh, the Chiefs took him at his word. The NFL took the Chiefs at their word because they, the Chiefs asked him what happened. Oh, it wasn't nothing, it was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Then the NFL got involved. The Chiefs said, well, this is what Kareem told us. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I hate that this young man put himself in that position. Guys, are, clearly, uh, in 2014, guys have not learned a lesson yet. Mm -hmm. Skip, I grew up in a time, and I know what people told me. My grandmother told me somebody put their hands on you. You put your hands back on them. But we're in a different age now. Mm -hmm. We're in a different time now. That's long, no longer acceptable. Men putting their hands on women, even if something is said, even if something is done, mm -hmm. is viewed in a totally different light now. Correct. Guys, I'm talking to my guys. Mm -hmm. If a situation starts to escalate with, between you and a female, I don't care if it's your house, the huddle house, or the waffle house. Leave, mm -hmm. go get the police, and says, I want this person removed. Mm -hmm. Because you lashing out, not only could it ruin you personally, mm -hmm. it could also ruin you professionally. He made a serious error in judgment. And his boys are doing everything they possibly can to restrain him because they know this could possibly end bad. Yep. But the thing that makes Kareem Hunt such a great football player worked to his detriment in this situation. Because just like when, run, when linebackers and linemen have him short of the first down, and he powers through them, Skip, mm -hmm. that worked against him in this situation. Sometimes when emotions are high, logic is low. Mm -hmm. See, Skip, at that very moment, it didn't matter to Kareem Hunt that he was an NFL player and a damn good one. It didn't matter what he stood to lose, that he stood more to lose than ever to gain by getting to and putting his hand on this mm -hmm. female. It didn't matter at that moment. No. And now he has an opportunity. He has to sit back and think. I believe Kareem Hunt, not this year, mm -hmm. but I believe in the future he'll play again in the NFL. I do too. Um, he made a mistake. Yep. He owned up to his mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know people are like, well, NFL, they got to do it. Look, the NFL can't do what TMZ. TMZ paid someone for a copy of this video. The NFL can't get in the business of doing that, Skip Bayless. 
Now, they can investigate. They can go to the police and the police skip. Mm-hmm. Cleveland Police Department did a horrible job. They also. did. Mm-hmm. They dropped the ball on this. They did. We asked the NFL to go above and beyond what people that we hire and put in place to do their job. That's the police department job. They should investigate this. But the NFL, you just can't take someone's word because it's going to turn out to be a PR nightmare if they lied. And he lied in this situation. There was a video because, Skip, video is a game changer. See, I believe if Reuben Foster had, if there was a, a, a video on Reuben Foster, he would be done. But he could always say, well, it didn't happen like this. Is he said, she said. Yep. That's what Kareem Hunt told the Kansas Chiefs. Mm-hmm. And the Chiefs then relayed that to the NFL. But when this video came out, Skip, mm-hmm. what do you say? See, the video doesn't know that Kareem Hunt's an NFL player. It doesn't know he makes millions. Mm-hmm. All it re- does is record what transpired. And Kareem, I believe she said something. I believe she did something. But, bruh, it's a female, mm-hmm. it's a male involved, and you always, 1,000 times out of 1,000, you're going to be wrong. Mm. So, I agree with every point you just made. All of it very well stated. But I cannot, in the end, let the NFL completely off the hook. And I speak everything I'm about to speak straight from the heart because, as you know, I've always been a huge fan of the National Football League. Mm-hmm. It's, I love the NBA, too, but, boy, the NFL is up there <laughs> for me. And it just frustrates me. It perplexes me that the NFL can't seem to get out ahead of these things, these incidents, because you're right. There are no charges filed. There's no complaint uh, filed by the woman. And she convinced the police nothing had really happened and she didn't want to pursue it and they dropped it. And as you said, they dropped the ball first. But to me, the National Football League is the most powerful league in the world and you just have to be a little better at getting to the bottom of these incidents. Your investigative arm has to do better. You've got ex-FBI people. Clearly, he was his residence was a hotel. Correct. So you just know there's going to be footage. Absolutely. Right? Yes. And you just have to figure out how to get your hands on the tape because you are the National Football League. Now, obviously, the Cleveland police say they couldn't get the tape either for whatever reason. So how did TMZ get it? Obviously, did they pay for it? Of course they did. The same reason they got the same way they got because theoretically, Skip, you're only supposed to turn that tape over to law enforcement. Well, TMZ is not a law enforcement arm. It's not a a, 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 a law enforcement body. But TMZ keeps setting all the agendas here. They, They keep... Well, like we started with Ray Rice, right? And obviously the NFL swung and missed on that, right? And then that leads me to what happened with Ezekiel Elliott, and I'll be the first to admit, lifelong Cowboy fan, I'm not objective. I love Ezekiel Elliott as a football player. I don't love a lot of things he's done off the field, right. but in that case, I was a director of investigations, and she asked to testify at Zeke's hearing right. against the better wishes of her bosses above her, and she testified that she was the only member of the NFL front office that interviewed his accuser, right. not once or twice, but six times, and she found that woman not credible, and instead, Zeke got Six games, yeah, and he had, Roberts lost her job. Eventually. She did, but uh-huh. I, I think Skip, we ha- we have to be careful because we keep saying the NFL. Well, the NFL is not the body that's investigating, so they don't have precedent or over this case. The NFL can't get says, okay, give us. We're going to give you three hundred thousand hey, dollars. Just remember, though, they never even asked to interview Kareem Hunt. He right. said yesterday, or the, the or, or the victim. That's that's the Skip. All right. That's where they made the mistake. I believe this is where they dropped the ball because the Kansas City Chiefs took Kareem's hump word. Mm-hmm. The NFL took the Chiefs' word. Mm-hmm. So, look, if I don't really want to know, I just ask you, Jenny, where did you go? And if Jenny just tells me, well, I went to uh, the Starbucks, okay, if I don't really want to know, I'm just going to take Jenny's word for it. But if I really, really wanted to know, I'm going to do some investigating on my own. But I might be afraid of what I might find out, Skip. Mm. So... But what are you always telling me about teams and the NFL just investigating players? Yeah. Following, tailing them. Yeah, yeah. You know, they yeah. know everything right. about everything. Yeah. Well, why can't you get to the bottom of this one because, fairly quickly? Because here's the thing, Skip. There was, a vi- there, was a, there was a video. And by law, someone could lose their job and be put in jail mm-hmm. for turning this over to TMZ. What I believe happened is the same thing that happened to Ray Rice. Yep. Somebody made a copy. Because remember now, this happened in February. 
Well, the price wasn't high enough for someone to turn that copy over. Hmm. So the price kept going up. Mm -hmm. So in the, someone got a nice little Christmas, got to go get a nice little Christmas, a uh, uh, Christmas yes, check, so. Skip. Yep. That's what happened. The end, look, Skip, I just don't know. Can the NFL do more? You got to at least call Kareem Hump in and talk to him. You, you got to at least try and get in touch with the victim or the alleged victim. At this point, it was just an allegation. Mm -hmm. But we know to be what we know now is because of video. See, Skip, Kareem Hunt didn't know there was a video. Because if he had known it was a video, he'd have told the truth in the beginning. Because what did they say? If you play football, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. Okay, but wouldn't the NFL sit back and sit and live in fear that the video might come out at some yeah. point? And now they look bad. They look bad. They, they look haven't bad. done a good job of that. This no. isn't new. No. This isn't no. a new issue for the mm -hmm. NFL. And you listen to the video and you watch Kareem. And I do believe he's sorry. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sure he was under the influence of something while he didn't yeah. admit that, which mm -hmm. doesn't really change the thing. But I just don't know if he deserves another shot. Because you make that mistake. Really? You think? I don't know if he I does. Just, out. So here's my thing now. Wow. If this it is makes it, me sick. I just want to make sure we're clear. If this is a lifetime ban for a professional athlete, I want doctors. I want police officers. I want everybody to get a lifetime ban. Because it just can't be for domestic violence if you're a professional athlete. I want everybody that has an occupation mm -hmm. to suffer a lifetime ban. By if the that's way, the way I, we're I going. I'm, I'm not even sure this qualifies as domestic violence. It was just assault. Right. Me. So what? I just I just want to make I just want to make sure if that's yeah. the road we're gonna travel down, yeah. if you put your hands on a woman, mm -hmm. no matter your occupation, it's gotta be a lifetime ban. No more employment for you. Because what I'm starting to hear is more of that, well, he's a professional athlete. He doesn't deserve to do anything anymore. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. Doctors, lawyers, firemen, policemen, school teachers, bankers. I want that to be the uniformity across the board. Well, Jim, obviously. It is a high standard. You have to, you are held to a higher standard. So doctors are not held to a high standard? Well, but I'm just saying in the NFL, you so should know you, better. Let me ask you a question. If he was not in the NFL, what would be the difference? I mean, but, all but NFL, people should be held to that standard. NFL players NFL. are looked at as role models and representatives of so the league the, that, that what operates are the, what are the on the image. At? They are also looked at okay, very so highly, and that issues. would be handled in a different way. Why? the NFL. Why? Because you are held to a higher standard. But you said, are you saying doctors and lawyers are not held to a standard? And school teachers. Do you see, Jenny? But you, a lot of time, the public doesn't even know what uh, inspires. So it becomes so public. You, but see, well, you got to excuse the NFL mm -hmm. because they didn't know the tape existed. So what they didn't know. Well, they had to know the tape existed. Okay, there, there then. So the if it's the veil of secrecy, if we don't know who you are, if you Joe America and you do this, you can go on about your life. But if you're a professional athlete and we know about it, you should be held to a high standard. Uh-uh. Mm. That's not the way the, law, the justice and the law said it's blind. Okay. It doesn't matter what you do. So in this case, I will be surprised if anybody claims him this off year. waivers Correct. this year. But I, I will not be surprised if he's on somebody's roster next year. Skip. Yeah. Yeah. The Kansas City Chiefs has Tyreek Hill. Yeah. He punched and yeah. kicked it. For yeah. Oh. So, so oh, it we... Was so we, we Ooh, that this was is in not, college. Right. This is college. not a this is not uncharted. Not, not in pro football, yeah. but when he was in this college. This is not uncharted territory right. that we're dealing with. Yep. I'm just waiting for the day that these stories are just done. Yep. Because it seems like there's far too many of them. Good point. And that's the part where I'm hoping that if the NFL makes a stand, things will change. I'm just saying, but this is a problem in society, not just for Agreed. Sure. You're right. No, there's a big problem there. All right, we're gonna leave it for now. I got a question. What the hell did Jeannie mean by that? In her commentary, a lifetime ban for Kareem Hunt? Really? Jenny, did you have the same stance on Ben Roethlisberger when he was accused by not one, but two women of rape? Also, did you have the same stance on Josh Brown, who kept on getting job after job in the NFL when he was abusing his ex-wife? And not only he was abusing his ex-wife, he kept journals of all the sick, sadistic stuff he did to her. No way Kareem Hunt deserves a lifetime ban from the NFL. Hell, Ray Rice didn't even deserve to get blackballed by the NFL. And I definitely think they're going to try to do the same thing to Kareem Hunt. Jenny came off as a typical white feminist. I'm glad Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless called her out. Skip Bayless said it. It was not domestic violence. It was just assault. And also, Shannon Sharp told her, if they're going to ban Kareem Hunt, then you need to start banning police officers. When they do these unarmed shootings against civilians. If we're going to hold Kareem Hunt or any professional athlete to a high standard. Then we need to hold our police, politicians, doctors, emergency officials, and prosecutors to even a more higher standard. 
Anyways, that's my take. What's yours? Leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. Deuces. Hey, what's up good people? It's QC once again. Now that you saw the video, subscribe to the channel. When you do, click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad. Let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.